Hello, good morning. <coughs> okay, so we continue checking. But today, in, the, in this occasion, we are having a review of units 9 and 10. This is, if you remember in the classes, this uh, is like an examination because right there we have two pages that we need to check. And in these pages, we are seeing what is the grammar vocabulary, basically. All right, so grammar review, units 9 and 10. The objective is to analyze and to write the correct answers your teacher. The edition we are having complete book and today is May 4th. Okay, let's go to the next. Okay, here we have, this is what we are going to review. And we're checking present simple form and present continuous. Here I'm just writing to you uh, the grammar form. Remember, we use and we form it with a subject and a verb here. Uh, we use it to express general truths, to indicate present habits, to express timetable events, and to indicate permanent states. So here we have examples. It really rains in the desert. Rain is my verb. It is my subject. So like this is a singular a personal pronoun. We need to use it in, uh, sorry, with the S. Okay, habits. Habits or routines because that is basically the same. The birds return to the island every morning, all right? So it's a habit returning. Table events, the plane to London takes off at 6.30 a.m. So uh, here specifically you need to indicate the time, otherwise it is not uh, an event, it's just uh, like a routine, like a present habit. And permanent states, all right? This is a permanent state, why? Because you just watch this film and obviously it is going to be in your mind for a long time. Okay, the continuous form is a subject plus am, is, or are. In any case that is negative, not. Uh, we can use condescent or aren't plus your verb in ing. In this occasion, you describe the actions happening now. For example, she is reading a newspaper upstairs. So what is she doing right now? She is reading. Express habits and nudging. You are always forgetting to pay the bills. Well, here they are introducing always an adverb. If you want to introduce it, it is okay right here. That's the reason it is in brackets or parentheses because it's not necessary. But sometimes uh, we may include it in case that you want to. So you are forgetting to pay the bills. This is a habit, a bad habit, all right? Because uh, it is not correct to forget paying the bills, all right? To describe future arrangements, she is getting married on November, on 3rd November, and to explain what that is, she is working, all right? Uh, usually, all, usually in this kind of sentences, also we include time expressions, all right? To indicate that the reason the two last future is here. What are you going to do as homework, okay? You're going to complete these sentences using correct verbs, form of present continuous, simple or continuous form of the verb in brackets. So I am helping you with the verb in brackets, so you don't have to think about any other ones. So right here, David never and you have in brackets to clean after his mess. So if you pay attention to this, this is a temporary habit or event. David never cleans up after his mess, all right? This statement is in present simple. Here, for example, we don't have a <coughs> time expression or something that is a habit, all right? Okay, and so on. So I have 12 sentences that you need to complete. And then I have a second review, but now using will. So in this second review is to answer questions using future tense. So I have 10 questions. Uh, remember, I have always told you to example time, will you go to bed? I will go to bed to 11 o'clock using will. If you want to make it as a plan, well, you need to use another one like going to. One more time. What time will you go to bed? I am going to, I am going to go to bed at 10 o'clock. So here is a plan. All right, okay, so here I have 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten questions. In some questions, like for example, from five to ten, here is an extra. Why yes or why not? All right. So I'm giving you the two options. In case that you say no, uh, I won't, or yes, I will. Explain to me why yes. So will you be rich in the future? Yes, I will. So why? Because I am going to finish a career. I am going to work in a famous company, and obviously I will be rich. In case that you don't say this, no, I won't. Uh, no, I won't because uh, I don't know if in ten years uh, there will be a lot of jobs for for me. So also included all right something be creative i have always asked you to be creative to complement all your uh, opinions or your expressions so i may know what you mean sometimes uh, students write incomplete sentences and obviously in that uh, form or in that occasion i don't know what you what you mean or what you want to say in that moment okay well after this i'll see you in zoom to in case that you want to ask any question or you have any doubt or you have extra problems with these kind of exercises and also we are solving some we are solving the two reviews of units 9 and 10. okay students so see you later and this is the powerpoint presentation ending